Good morning from Florida and it's already looking like a really good day. The weather's been absolutely fantastic since we've been here. We had one afternoon of rain when we was at Epcot yesterday, but other than that, it's just been absolutely scorching sun and blue skies. Today is our fourth day in a park and we're heading off to Universal Studios. It's currently 25 past eight. The park opens at nine o'clock. We've had to leave a bit earlier because we are, our hotel's on the 192, which isn't bad if we're going to the Disney parks. It's about a 10, 15 minute drive to the Disney parks, but the Universal parks are about a 35, 40 minute drive away. So we've had to leave a bit earlier to get um, in, to get to Universal in time for, for the gates opening. So so yeah, that's what we're going to be up to today. Universal Studios. That was like going to Burger King for a Big Mac. Just got parked up and we are in the Jaws section. James, you're gonna be able to remember that. We're in the Jaws section. You're gonna be able to remember that, yeah? You're not gonna be able to remember that. to Universal Studios. We're going to be sticking solely to Universal Studios today. We're not going to be jumping over to Islands of Adventure. We're going to be doing Islands of Adventure on its own standalone day next week. So we're just completely sticking into Universal Studios today. Could really do with getting a park map because this is pretty much my first time here and I've got no idea where I'm going at the moment. So yeah, once I find a park map, I'll check in with you guys. So where are we? Entrance. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're kind of right here. Yeah. Um, gonna go there first. What, straight over to Harry Potter? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so if we just walk straight around, or under, probably right, that looks like the quickest route, well, yeah, the less busiest route anyway. Yeah. Straight, straight around there into right. the Harry Potter. Okay, yep. Yeah. As you probably just heard, we're heading straight over to the Harry Potter rides here in Universal. Really, really, really excited about the Harry Potter rides. Coming from the UK, I mean, me being my age as well, I'm, I'm 29, and um, yeah, I've pretty much grew up with Harry Potter. The first one came out when I was a kid, and I've watched them through my teens, through my early 20s, you know, right up until now. So I've, I've never enough grew up with Harry Potter. It's part of part of my, my, my upbringing, really. So yeah, really excited to see how Universal have kind of captured that magical Harry Potterness. Um, yeah. So we're heading straight over to there now. Um, really excited about that. It's just walking into it now. You can see King's Cross. It's got a red phone box over there. Wow. <laughs> There's Leicester Square Station, and when you go through Leicester Square Station, that takes you straight onto Diagon Alley, which I'm not even sure I'm ready for, but yeah, we're gonna go for it. Oh my God.
trying to escape from Gringotts first. Luckily, there's only a 20 minute wait time. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but I'm really happy about that considering how busy this place is. Love that. Unfortunately, though, Universal have a strict no recording policy on or in rides, so I'm not going to be able to record any of dragon you can feel it I'm stood here and that dragon kicks out some heat as I was saying uh, I'm not going to be able to record anything inside the rides but um, I'll be able to describe it the best I can basically you're in carts like that so you're in these like mine carts it's a 3D experience you've got your glasses on you're flying through Gringotts Bank uh, Bellatrix and Voldemort are trying to kill you basically uh, Harry Ryan and Hermione are trying to rescue you yeah really really good uh, good ride the one thing I did really like though is as there's a lot of like projection scenes there's it's scenes that it's almost like you're watching a movie a Harry Potter film but as you've never seen these scenes before you, you kind of just want to stay in the ride and watch these scenes because like hold on I've never, I've never seen these scenes before I've never seen these action scenes between Harry and Bella Bellatrix so yeah I really wanted to stay in there as long as I could and just actually watch what was going on but um, yeah just a uh, really good ride I definitely recommend going on to sample my first ever butterbeer which I'm overly excited about. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> kind of tastes like oil brew with a shot of caramel. Caramel on the top, or thick on the top. But yeah, like a fizzy, fizzy iron brew with, with kind of like a couple of shots of caramel in there. Really, really nice though. Weasley's Joke Shop.
Just came out of Ali Bandas with two new ones. So we're now leaving that Harry Potter section, moving on to the next section. Loved that Harry Potter section. That's probably been my favourite part of the trip so far, of the whole holiday, being in there. Absolutely fantastic. There was the uh, Ollivanders show, which you do have to kind of queue separately for. If you go into Ollivanders, there's a, a little side queue. Um, yeah, just look at the side of Ollivanders and there, you'll see a large queue going around. We didn't originally know it was there. I, I ended up just asking um, a member of the staff just like, what's the queue for? And they said it's uh, one demonstration, which obviously, yeah, we were gonna go and do that. Um, but yeah, just keep an eye for that, because it's easily missed. <sighs> didn't even know there was a Men in Black ride here, but, uh, yeah, it's a 20 minute wait time, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but for 20 minutes, I think we should uh, see what it's all about. And my bees. Just got off the Men in Black ride, and I'm loving the souvenir shop for obvious reasons. Pug, 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 pug. The Men in Black ride is exactly the same as the Buzz Lightyear ride in Magic Kingdom. You kind of get lots, uh, what is six to a car, but you get guns and you have to shoot aliens, you get a score at the end. So it's kind of like a laser tag dealio. I'm heading over to the Simpsons land, which I'm really excited about because who didn't love the Simpsons growing up? Uh, I'm not so much a fan of the newer kind of Simpsons episodes, you know, where they're really heavily animated. I preferred like the 90s kind of Simpsons. Controversial statement, but uh, yeah, this is looking really good actually.
inside the one crusty burger there's not just crusty burger there's obviously yeah there's crusty burger they're just your traditional burgers there's um cletus's chicken shack there with all your chicken stuff the frying dutchman with uh, all of the fish stuff we got luigi's with the uh italian stuff man people love this camera um so yeah it's not all just kind of like one burger type of food there's pretty good selection in here a real life crusty burger with curly fries just leaving the Simpsons area now and ate a crusty burger if you are planning on eating a crusty burger be prepared to carve out at least an hour and a half of your day it's a really long process they're getting through the people in there as quick as they can but there's tons of people that want to eat there um, it's the burger line that really takes its time we was in the burger line for about 30 minutes alone so yeah if you are planning on eating in there just be prepared to carve out about an hour and a half of your day We're going on Transformers the ride now, another 3D ride. I think most of the rides in this park are kind of 3D slash 4D. the mummy ride and it's very much the same kind of themed ride as the Gringotts Bank one where you're in like a, in a car and you're just flying around the track and there's, there's projectors going on, there's flames going on, it's very 4D um, but there's just more drops, it's sharper turns, you go backwards uh, it, it, it pains me to say but um, that actually was my favourite ride of the day however much I do love the Gringotts Bank ride um, yeah that's uh, definitely been my favourite ride of the day so far These minion mugs are cool. Give you a hug. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Going to be heading over to ET next. Found ET, and bonus, we're looking at what a 15 minute wait time on this. ET needs your help. Now, I've just received an urgent message from E.T.'s teacher, Botanicus, calling for E.T. to come home right away. You see, a big problem has developed three million light years away on E.T.'s home world, the Green Planet. E.T.'s friends are in danger because their planet is dying. Remember what E.T.'s friends look like because it's going to be up to you to help E.T. find them once we get him home. And there's not a moment to lose because only E.T.'s magic healing touch can save his friends and bring his planet back to health. E.T. must go home and only you can help him. Yeah. Ah, E.T. Trouble. That's right, E.T. So why don't you show these people how we're going to get you back to the green planet? You 
Andy T will be making your 3 million light year journey on these bikes, but don't worry, you don't have to pedal. But you will need an interplanetary passport. So before you leave with ET, tell your first name to one of our assistants and they'll give you your pass. to stuff up for a milkshake. milkshake and you're not afraid to get a bit of brain freeze, Mel's driving is definitely the place to go for your milkshakes, spot on milkshakes. It's been a pretty hot and long day, the guys have just pulled up a spot in the shade to wait for the parade which starts in half an hour, but I've quickly just ran up to Diagon Alley again because I just cannot get enough of this queue.
so that's it for Universal Studios, but not for Universal Parks itself. We've still got Island Adventure to do, and we've still got Volcano Bay to do. So yeah, if you enjoyed that, stay tuned for those, and I'll see you again in the next video. See you later, guys.